Chapter 20, The Liberation of Ilya. Also known as uh, Silver Wolf as well. Hi everyone, Cinder here. Welcome back to Fire Emblem 6. They allowed them to get to the palace? Blast! If I go to hell, then that Roy shall be going down with me! Lord Rortz, the remainders of the Jude clan are saying that they'll come to our aid once they've securely hidden the mirror. Mirror? Ah, what are the divine weapons? Good, we must hold out until then. This is Rort's Manor. I understand that this palace holds methods of attacking through little cracks in the framework. You must not think you are safe just because your back is to the back. Just because your back is to the wall. Do you know much about this palace? Well, I am at least slightly known to know more things than most people. The rumor about the palace is something I picked up back in the city. Do you know what the Dark Dragon looks like? Well, I can't say I'm absolutely sure about that. But I would love to see it with my own eyes. I was thinking, maybe the Dark Dragon is in human form as well. Perhaps. Maybe all the dragons are in human form now. I've also heard stories of dragons in human form living with people. Nabada? Hmm? Did you say something? No, nothing. I don't re I don't know anything specific, but I read in an ancient scroll that dragons started taking human form only after the ending winter. The ending winner. You have heard about it, have you not? Yes, only in legend. At the winter of ends, the laws of nature were turned upside down. Day became night, summer became winter. That's it. These scrolls are so old and damaged, I couldn't decipher all of them. But one thing is clear. The ending winter was a disaster powerful enough to bend and twist the planet. What caused it? Who knows? Popular belief says that the laws of nature were twisted when the dragons unleashed vast amounts of magical power, but I have no idea what really happened either. But it does seem certain that dragons started taking human form after the ending winter. Yes, I agree. Well, either way, the truth lies in burn. Okay. Welcome to uh, chapter 20. Uh, remember that there is a fog of war, and there was more I was going to go over as we go through the chapter. Now, uh, doors that you'll need uh, door keys or a thief to unlock. Uh, thief. I brought uh, Astol along. As well as Chad. Now, you don't really need two thieves, but I'm bringing two thieves to get something. Um, Lance isn't here, Ray isn't here, and OJ isn't here. Instead, I brought the two thieves, and I also brought uh, Sue, who is level 20, but if I do this correctly, won't be level 20 for the entire map. <laughs> Let's see, uh, next, let's go ahead and go over Nimi, who's, yes, actually here. She's a level 18 druid. So, she, uh, hasn't class changed yet. She is? She is, she's, uh, blah. Sorry. <laughs> I got myself all, all turned around. Uh, she is a druid, so she is, she is class changed. Um, she's level 18. She gets two levels. She has Flux, Eclipse. Um, she does have A rank and staffs, which is really cool. So she does come with a Physics staff. She's just going to sit back and help heal with her 21 magic. Let me throw up her stat growths on the screen, even though they don't matter that much because, well, she can't. She gets two levels, but here they are. She does get her two levels. Uh, she has 25% HP growth, 
15 magic, 15 skill, 15 speed, 5 luck, 15 defense, 20 resistance. Basically, the stats you see here are probably the stats that Nami is going to have. With a few, maybe, you know, a point or two. They're all within a point or two. <laughs> um, she's not good. She's just not. But, she does have an A rank in staffs. And you get her for this chapter no matter what, so might as well use her to heal. <laughs> or try to have fun with the clip, see if you get lucky. Um. You with the sword, Reaver. Yeah, down to one. <laughs> that was fun. I did not set up the, uh... Did not set this up. Whoops. Forgot to do that. I changed all the party members around, but I didn't, uh, set up who's going where. Okay, we'll do this. Not enough. Silverbow. Not that she needs the EXP, but... I just want to try to make some headway here. Remember, we get, uh... You get... Uh, 25 turns? That's honestly way more than enough. Even with all the additional stuff I'm going to be doing. The one thing you have to be worried about is there are some bolting... Uh, some bolting tombs around. Level 6! HP, speed, luck! Man, boy's got more speed. <laughs> boy's has 19 speed! I don't think I... I don't think I ever gave him a speed wing either. Jeez. Boar's going all crazy. Um... Lightning! And that gets Ellen a level. Level 7. Magic, skill, luck, resistance. Awesome. Good job, Ellen. Ah, uh, not enough. Shoot the killer bow. Good. Got you in one. to give Alan a uh, lance. I did, how or a javelin. I did, however, give him a goddess icon. To boost his luck up to 16. And he seemed a little low on luck. I also, because I can, gave uh, Lelina the other angelic, the spare angelic robe I had. <laughs> so now she has, uh, so now she has 50 HP. <laughs> I also... If you caught a glimpse there, I gave Roy an energy ring because he can use it later. So now he has 14 strength. He's gonna need it. I have. There's one. Uh, air caliber. You do not have the bolting toe. You just have air caliber, or physics staff, and a red gem. If you want the red gem. You'll have to find a way inside the walls. Now, there's typically no way inside the wall. Unless you have a specific staff. Which Ellen is carrying. By using the warp staff and having an A rank in staffs. Well, even if you don't, nobody does for whatever reason. Uh, Naomi does. Uh, you can warp a unit into the wall. Now, that unit is going to be Chad. Because he has better stats. Which is why he has the killing edge. Now, you can steal the red gems if you want. My goal is to steal the Orion's bolt that is in the map. For Sue. And give it to her. That's the plan. No guarantees of that going 100% cor going correct. One. Two. Mm -hmm. 
steel sword. I forgot to give her an, another uh, fire fire tone. I was going to do that. Albert, dodge. And you're done. How dare you try to hit Ellen? Really thought about giving her the angelic robe, by the way. Oh, there's a sword master and a mage. There we go. There's one of the ones with the voltage. You can kill Sue. Huh? huh. You do thirty on the dot. That is a shame. All right, hold on. All right, let's try that again. I knew eventually a bolting would get me. <laughs> right here. Uh, it was only a matter of time. So, here's what I'm going to do. Because I'm not going to mess around with that anymore. Because I do believe there is not just one, but two there. No. Oh, Gazala's missed one. <laughs> I have a warp staff. Go, Lolina. And that is a level up for Ellen. HP, magic, skill, luck, resistance. Nice. Hi. I'm tired of you using bolting. <laughs> The Warp Staff will help you a lot with this stage. Now to get, again, the Orion's Boat, you'll have to have a uh, the Warp Staff, because I believe it's the, uh, the person right here. It's the, the sniper that's there. Okay, well that's one bolting down. Deek. Go. But Master Roy. One use. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. Sadly, it's about to break. You're dead. So very dead. <laughs> All right, now there's some other nasty tricks here as well um, that I didn't go over. Um, I know there's a Berserk Staff somewhere on this stage. It's why I checked my Restore Staffs beforehand. Um, and the Boltings. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else other than the other, you know, just the basic units that are really nasty on this stage. Sure! Eel Ellen. Still can't move them up. Good dodge, Dorothy. I may have Nimi try to try to kill him. Albert's back. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> Thankfully, Alice is that good, but that really would have hurt. And then he would have got shot by the other bolting tomb, and that would have just been super sad. You know this one. I knew there was another one. 
You're so in because they can double bolting and kill a unit. <laughs> Good dodge, Roy. Killer Ballista! Dodge. Yeah, that thing's not fun. You're the one with the Berserk Staff. Dodge. That's one use. You only get three of those. Uh, I can't reach you. Deal with you later. Chad is strong enough to do that on his own. I'll wait a turn. We'll get rid of this bolting and then we can move forward because we need the thieves to open uh, this door to get to the treasures. We can see a little more. A couple of nice. This one has an axe reaver. This one has air caliber. This one has an open. You try to critical somebody though that doesn't have enough <laughs> enough defense. Goodbye. Good. Yeah. Well, if he hits. Oh. Yeah, good dodge, Gonzalez. Goodbye! <laughs> Zaz didn't like you trying to hit him with that caliber. Level up. Level four. HP strength. Yep, that's about right. <laughs> that's a berserker level up. I think we're good. I want to keep people just in case berserk. But you're here. So you can reach whoever. Hi! You have air caliber. And a red gem, which you can also steal if you're feeling really good about your thief. Next turn. This is what slows it down, honestly. It's the units that are on goodbye. It's the units that are on the on the walls that you can't get to. Really annoying. Well, thanks for, you know, getting within Lelina's range, Ow. Got to heal that now. That is two. Good dodge, because you're going to heal Roy. There he is. He gets such fancy music. Good. The palace is in chaos. I shall fight those bird troops alone. To the death! No, no, right away! <sighs> Forgot you move! This is Dian, the chief of the Katola clan and the greatest warrior in Sake. He is a level 12 nomad trooper. Now you look at his stats and you tell me if he's the greatest warrior in Sake. <laughs> Ah, uh, he's so bad. Um, I was going to have Sue talk to him. Granddaughter of Diane, the Silver Wolf, just because I wanted that conversation where I can also talk to him. <sighs> okay, one thing at a time. Kill Roy.
She's not catching him with his movement of eight because Nomad Trooper. Diane, you messed it all up. Also, Lelina is tired of you. Go away. <laughs> okay. Well, Roy, talk to him. You can recruit Diane with Sue. This is the other reason I brought Sue. I brought Sue to also give her the Orion Bolt. But you can uh, talk to Diane with Sue with um, Shin or uh, with her. Are you the Aturian general leading this group? Yes, and you are? I am Dian. Dian? I've heard it somewhere. Must first thank you. My clan was always fighting against Burn and the clans that followed Burn. We were forced to reside to reside to guerrilla warfare instead of going up against them face to face. However, now that you have attacked Burn, the tables are beginning to tip in our favor. I see. I'm glad that I could help. I want to ask you one thing. Once this battle is over, do you intend to withdraw your troops right away? After this battle? Yes. Sake belongs to us Sakaian people. If authoritarian rule by Burn is only to be replaced by Aturian rule, then we would have to fight you next. Right after this battle? That would not be possible. We ha we must have Sake as a base to launch direct attacks on Burn. What? Directly into Burn's lands? Even if we could drive off Burn now, it'd only be a matter of time until they strike back at us. We must destroy their roots, right? Yes, you're right. I see. In that case, I shall aid you. That would help us tremendously, if you were a better unit. But once Burn is defeated, you must withdraw your troops from Sakai. I humbly ask of this, because it's not like I could really stop your army. Is that alright with you? Of course, you have my word. <laughs> alright, Diane comes with a short bow and a steel sword. Because Nomad Trooper, he can use swords. He has an A in bows and C in swords. He is so bad for a pre-promoted unit. Like every other pre-promoted unit. I mean, he's not absolutely terrible, but he's level 12. I mean, Sue almost has him in a lot of stuff, except res. For some reason, he has a ton of res. He has 12 res for whatever reason. Um, but other than that, I mean, if he was a level 1 Nomad Trooper, we'd be talking. His stats would be great, and we could really use him. Is he usable? Yeah, if you absolutely have to, I guess. And just look at Dorothy's stats. Level 8. She's four levels behind. Has just as much speed, way more skill, way more strength, the same amount of defense, and only three less res. And nobody gets res in this game. And, uh, 15 luck. Three more luck. Is he usable? Yeah, but he's just not that good for being a level 12 pre-promoted unit. Let me put up his stats on the screen. You're not getting much else either. <laughs> That's the other problem with Diane. 55 HP, 20 strength, 20 skill, 15 speed, 20 luck, 10 defense, 10 resistance. If he had better stat growths, maybe? If you're using Shin, Shin's probably better. Shin is more than likely better because Shin's just that good. Um, if you're using Sue, she has a good chance to be better. After she gets promoted, she's going to be level 1 and have probably just as much strength and better everything else. Other than res. Maybe defense as well. He's just... He doesn't live up to this. The greatest warrior in Sakai. I mean, he's... His stats are... Good enough to use on normal. But... He's just not impressive as level 12 Nomad Trooper. He's just... But he's here, so you can use him. Okay, with the Bolting Tombs gone... You are... 
a problem. I think I know how I'm going to have to deal with you two. Let's see, because you actually have a resistance stat, again, for whatever reason. Bad. Use the steel sword! You can see, Nomad Trooper attack. With us actually having Nomad Trooper. Okay, you. Yep, you have the Orion Bolt. Okay, with your killer ballista as well. I should be able to take a hit. You have a killer axe! That's cute! That's painful! There's the warrior uh, critical animation. Ow. Level up, level 10. HP defense. Hey, got defense. There goes that killer lance. She has the javelin equipped next. Oh, well. Make sure we're not in range of the killer ballista. Heal. That's better. Level up. Level five. Speed luck. Why don't you get magic? It's sad. <laughs> It saddens me. Um, oh, so close. Just need you to... Well, I don't even need you to move. I don't really care about the red gem. I just want the Orion Bolt. Ah, Lance Reaver, but you can't do any damage. Oh, that's a shame, but because of it, I have to use two Javelin. Lame. Lost the damage from the Weapon Triangle. Dodge. Last Berserk. And die. Should be, right? Yeah. Good. That's why Sandy have a longbow. One. And two. As much as I would want the red gem, it's really dicey. And I want to save Warp Staff East. 24. You can definitely take it. Now the plan is we're going to warp him directly next to to the uh, sniper. Steal. And then kill him the next turn. That's the plan. As for over here... We can see the boss! It's Rortz himself, former advisor to the Eternian Court. He has a red gem that I will probably steal, actually. Um, he also has a spear, giving him 31 attack. Here are his stats. Now, he has a lot of defense, but not a lot of resistance. You can blast him with spell. He's your typical general. Lots of defense, not a lot of resistance. Well, he has a lot of resistance for this game, but anyway. 21 strength, 13 skill. He doesn't have the best skill if you have somebody that's really dodgy. Uh, you can get rid of him. Um, with his spear, he does have a ranged attack, which does hurt, but he's not doubling you. No chance. <laughs> 
Boars doubles him. May have Boars take Rorts out. Show him what a real general is. If Boars could hit him. <laughs> um, I might try anyway, because it's not like he can really hurt Boars. Back. The best way to deal with Rorts is with an Armor Slayer. Or, even better than that, a really strong magic user. So there's that. We'll keep the uh, options open for now. In turn. I think that's going to do it for this turn. Next turn. Silver Sword! Ow. There's a Killer Ballista over there as well, by the way. Dodge. Have to do it next turn, unless she can. Oh, she can. Warp. Hi. This is mine. Okay. Now, if Chad gets hit. We heal him, we heal him with the, uh, physics stats. That's the plan. Also going to blast you. Because <laughs> again. Okay. We start dealing with this over here. Unlock. Oh, so close. Steel Blade. Gotcha. Where's wants to say hi? Come on, Boris Crit! Yeah! Goodbye. <laughs> Not that you could hurt Boris back anyway, but... It's just the fact that Boris got you. Level up! Come on, skill! Level 6! HP, luck, resistance! Huh! He got res. Can't complain too heavily. It's nice when Boris gets res. Luck. I don't know why I put him there because yeah I did that right okay because <laughs> the door is technically here not here good ah uh, I tried <laughs> You need to go down. There we go. That's a level up for Dorothy. Level 9. HP, skill, speed. Nice. Because remember, she can't get shrink. Now talk to Sue. Grandpa! Sue? You were alright? I was rescued by this army, but I was the one... But I was the only one of our clansmen who survived. I understand. It was a hard battle. Grandpa, will you fight with us as well? Yes. This army doesn't seem to be the one that would invade Sakai. I see. There we go. Um...
Could take the steel sword. Nah. Let's heal Gonzalez. And that will do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you had a lot of fun. Next time, we will uh, deal with the rest of this map. There's really not that much left. I got what I wanted. Now we just get through the map. Um, this will be a problem just because I'll have to get rid of the five ballista shots before I can move Astol to get the treasures. Again, should have brought a door key just to speed this along. But oh well. You get 25 turns. You could do it faster than that if you're willing to use a lot of the warp staff. Um, until the next episode, I'm Sindrari9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.